Your Worshipful Mayor, distinguished guests, the Pro Vice-Chancellor of the Faculty of Education, Health and Human Sciences, University of Greenwich, Professor Derek Moore. Well, thank you. Good morning. Um, my name is Derek Moore, and I am the Pro Vice-Chancellor of this fantastic faculty. Uh, dear graduates, families, honoured guests, the Worshipful Mayor, uh, friends and family, and members of our university community, it's my absolute honor to welcome you to today's graduation ceremony. As the Pro Vice-Chancellor of this fantastic faculty, it's my pleasure to be the first to congratulate our wonderful graduates on your amazing achievements. And it's been quite a journey for everyone over the last few years, with many of you starting your courses during COVID, with all the challenges that went with that period, but you have persevered and succeeded. More recently, you also managed to get your tickets for today, which I am told are almost as sought after as those of Taylor Swift, and managed to get into your robes and have managed to balance your hats on your heads and are all looking very sharp in your outfits. So in celebration of both your resilience and sartorial elegance uh, and uh, skills on Ticketmaster, I would like to start today's ceremony by asking every single person to put your hands together and give a huge round of applause to the graduates of the University of Dwellyn. Okay, now that's not a bad start, but generally, you know, this is a celebration. So what I would really like you to do is take the roof off the chapel. So let's have another go. Come on. Okay, that's better. It's not quite Taylor Swift, but it's better. Now, this chapel is a truly special place uh, in which to celebrate and host today's ceremony. It reminds us of the university's 130-year history as a seat of learning in which we take enormous pride. This heritage is one of high standards of teaching, research, and enterprise, and the reason why thousands of students from across the world come to study with us. And we continue to build and enrich our legacy every year, and last year was no different. There are too many fantastic achievements to mention them all, but I would like to highlight a few uh, in a little bit of time I have available. So this year, we saw the graduation, and we see the graduation, of the first NMC-approved midwives to be trained as degree apprenticeships, the first in the world. And we also have launched a new midwifery program at Medway to help tackle workforce issues in Kent. We continue through our Institute for Life Course Development to undertake research and knowledge exchange that has significant national and international impact and that informs our teaching. For example, Dr. Charlotte Stoner is being funded by the National Institute for Health Research to help support people when they're diagnosed with dementia. And Dr. Sajid Humayan is being funded by the Youth Endowment Fund to evaluate family therapy interventions to reduce child criminal exploitation. All very important work. And last year, we officially launched the Greenwich Learning and Simulation Centre, GLASC. This is where we use life-like mannequins, virtual and augmented reality, and live actors to simulate and recreate a variety of scenarios using our fully equipped hospital wards, our critical care unit, and operating theatres, and other settings. And this allows us to recreate a whole range of typical and rare emergency and team working situations that our healthcare workers may face so they can practice in a safe space and are ready and prepared when these situations come along later in their careers. This has included, in the last two years, the simulation of mass casualty events that give our paramedic students other opportunities to experience what these would be like should they ever have to attend to them. And we are particularly proud of the work we do to ensure our simulation training embraces and represents the full diversity of the service users we work with. And our team is really proud to have developed, together with our partner LifeCast, the world's first healthcare mannequin of a child with Down syndrome, Gwen. And that's a real testament to the innovation of our team. Many of you will have used these facilities in the last few years, which we actually built during lockdown. And they are the most advanced in the country. And this is not just a facility for you to use, have used in these last few years, but also for you to return to for continuing professional development over your future careers. 
And we have been visited by many uh, MPs and policymakers in the last year who have come to see how simulation can help the UK expand our capacity to train more healthcare workers. And to confirm how prestigious our work is, last year our team of academics and technicians, led by Professor Sharon Weldon and Charles Everard, won two prestigious Zenith Global Health Awards. Now other staff as well, many other staff, have also received distinguished awards this year. For example, three of our community nursing staff members, Helen Elliott, Emma Whittle, and Prince Sunkwa Mills, Mills sorry, were given the title of Queen's Nurse this year. Ooh, is I think that's an intervention. Um, there have also been some wonderful individual successes that show how amazing our students are. For example, Cherry C, who was awarded Student Nurse of the Year by Maidstone and Tunbridge Wells uh, NHS Trust. And Annie, Anna Stocks, sorry, Amy Stocks, who was named Learner of the Year at the Student Nursing Times Awards. And these are amazing achievements. And many of our students, as you hopefully will do, go on to be national leaders. For example, Suzanne Sweeney, who graduated in 2015, is now director of the London Neonatal Network, hosted by Guy's and St. Thomas's Hospital, one of the largest and most high-achieving NHS trusts in the country. And she received an OBE in 2020 for transforming the care of very sick preterm babies. Now, what I'd like to do now is have a round of applause for all our successes, past and present, of our students and staff. I think, I think they've lost energy again, don't you? Come on. <laughs> Let's have a really big round of applause. That's better. Thank you. Thank you. So, look, if you set your mind to it and heart, I know that all of you can achieve extraordinary things, just like the many alumni who were sitting in your seats some time ago. There are many more examples of Greenwich graduates who've gone on to become world leaders, Nobel Prize winners, influential campaigners, musicians, or business owners, and you can learn more about those if you look at our Greenwich Portrait series. Now, I, along with everyone at the university, look forward with interest to see how your careers develop and how you shape your future. Sorry. Sticky pages. Graduating and going out into your professional world can be daunting but I have full faith that each and every one of you will go on to do amazing things and have long and impactful careers. And I know that together, we have done everything we can to set you on the right track. And perhaps unlike High Speed 2, I'm certain that that track is actually going to be extended and lead you to a successful future. For today and for the future, I offer you my very best wishes and sincere congratulations on your achievements today. And I'll finish by drawing on the words of Nelson Mandela, who said, education is the most powerful weapon with which you can use to change the world. Greenwich graduates of 2023, go and change the world. Thank you. Greenwich Students' Union Officer, Sadiq Lawal. Hello, everyone, and um, a very warm welcome to you all. My name is Sadiq Ayobami Lawal, and I, am, I have the privilege of serving as one of the elected Greenwich Student Union Officer for this academic year. This means that I represent the work for all students studying at every year, Greenwich and Midway. I am honored to be here today to share this celebration with you and your loved ones. After years of late night in the library, assessment, lectures, and lots of hard work, you did it, and we could not be prouder. So can we get a big share for you all, please? Let's also make some noise for our friends and families who share this journey with us, who laugh with us, sometimes they panic with us, but they are the ones that got us here today. So let's give them a share, please. <laughs> Finally, to the ones who have supported us, the academics, the support staff, the student leaders, we couldn't have done it without your patience, your guidance, and your kindness. So let's have a big share for them all too.
And now today, you become an alumni, part of a fantastic community of Greenwich students who no matter where they go, they always have a home here. I am sure you all are going to achieve great things and share the knowledge you have learned over the years. You as a Greenwich graduate, we take pieces of us with you and continue to build this community. I am so proud to be here to see you begin this next chapter. Thank you for letting me be part of your story. So on, it's time to enjoy this moment, reflect on your accomplishments, and above all, celebrate with your loved ones. Thank you so much. Vice Chancellor, I now call upon Alison Cork, Programme Leader, to present you award holders. <laughs> from the Faculty of Education, Health and Human Sciences. Vice-Chancellor, I have the honour to present to you the award holders from the Faculty of Education, Health and Human Sciences. From the School of Health Sciences for the degree of Bachelor of Science, Adult Nursing, Sylvia Abotu. Olawumi Omolara Adamalakan. <laughs> Oliidi Olabakola Adidara Oladeli. Yemisi Elizabeth Adiai. <laughs> Olubakola Agara Jackson. <laughs> Neka Henrietti Agu. Olabumi Oluwashin Egbodi. <laughs> Helen Otiki Egbogan Egbogan. <laughs> Veronica Damilola Ajayi. Olaladi Modipiola Ajuoli. <laughs> Olaniki Rashadat Ajibola. <laughs> Eniola Joseph Akindayini. Adibakola Olawe Shanaladi. <laughs> Imuintin Andamasan. <laughs> Jennifer A.M. Apal. <laughs> Vera Ari. Juliana Asidua. Oma Balanli Sharifa Ayan Laja. Olubakola Damoli Babalola. Marie Christian Sharon Bade. <laughs> Gloria Oluwatosi Badejo. <laughs> 
Olabisi Aduki Bakari. Charla Mamba Therese Brett. Nicole Carol Burrows. Amelia Coleman. Paolo Osimamin Daniel Green Rotondo. Joanne Louise Diprose. <laughs> Shella Dobo. <laughs> Kenneth Andrew Donaghy. <laughs> Hannah Donker. Paulina Marta Dusha. <laughs> Rita Obihi Egwabo. <laughs> Lucia Ovigueri Ewoho. Queen Daly Ekator. <laughs> Victoria Ngozi Asenwa. <laughs> Natasha Kadeen Evans. <laughs> Joseph Ikachukru Izi. Leanne Fletcher. <laughs> Mariama Sere Fofana. <laughs> Lydia Godfrey. <laughs> Abby Gooding Jacks. Taylor Jean Graham. <laughs> Sushma Gurung. <laughs> Lul Abdinasir Hassan. <laughs> Abdi Karim Osman Harabe. Sarah Horsley. <laughs> Khadija Noor Hussein. <laughs> Natalie Jane Hutton. Veronica and Kurika Ifani Onoro. <laughs> Chukwubuka Francis Egwizi. <laughs> Abby Oden Rachel Ajodi. Doris Chinwe Ikajimba. <laughs> Connor Lee Ivan. <laughs> Ch 
Bethany Elizabeth Jones. Howard Carbo. Miriam Khalifa. Jasmine Jessica Knight. Christiana Akia Kudua. Abiola Folashadi Kalioso. <laughs> Nolive Lise Kima Kuadio. <laughs> Alexandra Margazata Krishala. Gladys Tele, Veronique Lackel. <laughs> Romina Legato. <laughs> Bethany May Mapleston. <laughs> Imelda Mary Martin. Georgina Elizabeth Patricia McCann. <laughs> Jessica McGorin. <laughs> Raliatu Mohammed. <laughs> and he Mapanda. Joyce Muhaki Muthukia. <laughs> Itha Akta Naeem. <laughs> Greta Peter Nduka. <laughs> Linda Akasua Intel. Kate Ijioma Nwadazi. <laughs> Doris Fumi Abasohan. <laughs> Chineni Izakamoa Obi. Grace Odenyami. <laughs> Rosaline Folashadi Ogundi. <laughs> Chioma Cynthia Akiki. Stella Okorodi. <laughs> Yolanda Keisha Ann Oliver. <laughs> Oladunton Oluwafobi. <laughs> Bukola Hannah Olamulu. Adeniki Fayasara Onyasanmi. <laughs> Sylvia Oshifade. <laughs> Elise 
Edna O'Sunday. Yvonne Adetwam Awusu. <laughs> Tinuola Teofakat Ayabamji. <laughs> Patricia Ann Nicole Sason Palomo. Mubarak Ishmael Haji Musa Patel. Prasanna Rai. Dorit Rose. Olawatoyan Odatun Rufai. Alba Ruiz de Alegria Garcia Echevira. <laughs> Louise Sells. <laughs> Oluwakemi Sekinat Salaja. Folashadi Yutundi Seneki. <laughs> Frank Lloyd Tago. <laughs> Claudine Tala. <laughs> Heben Berhiteki. Monica Tinawo. <laughs> Ng Zu Chi. <laughs> Jane Belinda Valentine. <laughs> Oluwatoyin Willoughby. Shagan Samson Zubair. <laughs> Eniola Adesola Osinoo. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Science Nursing, bracket adult nursing, Shanoi Kamara Devania Edge. Renice Pyrrhus May Howard Harrison. <laughs> Yulita Zinavashi Karen Mutami. <laughs> Anne Nkechi Okwagwu. Nini Lalawa Grace Oliemi. <laughs> Divich Pudel. <laughs> Margaret Samura. <laughs> Femi Eve Sifra Senna. Timasilla <laughs> Doin Sola Sabawali <laughs> Rebecca Amber Till.
Maya Patel Juliet Toppin. Zora Waffa. Samantha Thabani Windsor. Debbie Abiola Adelakan. <laughs> Miriam Ekenwenrenum Tutu. <laughs> Vice Chancellor, that concludes the list of award holders from the Faculty of Education, Health and Human Sciences. I now call upon the Vice-Chancellor of the University of Greenwich, Professor Jane Harrington, to confer the awards. Okay, right, I now come to the formal part of the ceremony. So I would like to ask all of our lovely graduates, if you could all stand up, please, and could you face your family and friends for me? Okay. okay, hang on a minute, right, I'm going to say some formal words and then the paparazzi will be ready for you. Right, by virtue of the powers vested in me as Vice-Chancellor of the University of Greenwich, I confer upon all those who have been awarded the title, award and honours to which you are entitled. So in other words, you are all now graduates. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> and you can all sit down now, please. I'll have you up again in a minute. Don't worry. There's lots of opportunities for photos. OK, as the Vice Chancellor and Chief Executive Officer of the University of Greenwich, it is my absolute honour and privilege to formally congratulate you all on graduating today. Now... <laughs> It is a day of celebration, and it is absolutely fantastic that we can celebrate with so many of you. And I had been warned, actually, that you were probably the noisiest crowd we ever get. I think they might be right. Now, today is an important day for you, but it's also really important for everybody who's supported you along the way. And I really want you to take a moment to think about those people who've helped you, your family, your friends, your lecturers, and I do know you want to thank them, so I'm going to get you to stand up, and I'd like you to face them, and I'm going to count you into three, and I want you to show them with as much noise as you can how much you really appreciate them. Are you up for this? Yeah. yeah. Okay, stand up, face them all. Okay, one, two, three. <laughs> Right, just, just stay standing a minute. I'm just, just a minute. Um, I'm just going to ask um, our head of school. Could they do better? Oh, I think. Yeah? <laughs> but better, yeah. We, what, do you all think agree? Yeah. Okay, I, we, we do all think you could do better than that, actually. Right, so are you ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Lovely. I think that you have all been really appreciated. <laughs> you may sit down now. Thank you. Now, graduation 
marks the end of an important part of your lives and the beginning of the next. And each of you has taken a unique journey to get to this moment. And as you walk out today, you are taking with you wonderful memories, friends that you've made, skills that you have gained, and each and every one of your accomplishments. And what I ask you to do over the next few weeks is to find somewhere quiet, to sit down and make a re record of all of those accomplishments. So at some point in your life, when you need to be reminded of what you can achieve, it's there for you to refer to. Now, we know that many of you have juggled multiple responsibilities, cared for your families, and you've persevered despite all of the challenges that life has thrown at you. You didn't give up, you are here, and you are graduating. So you have every right to be incredibly proud of your achievements, to be incredibly proud of your resilience, and to be incredibly proud of the determination that you have shown. And always remember that you did it. Yeah. <laughs> Now, throughout the last year, the University of Greenwich has also had some amazing success. We've been named by a student crowd as the best UK university in 2023. I agree. <laughs> and it's, it is actually the only award that's based entirely on student reviews. And this outstanding result really is a testament to the dedication and work that we do to support students that enriches your overall experience with us. And throughout the past year, our team has worked tirelessly to provide extensive cost of living support, including doubling our hardship fund, giving out vouchers, providing free meals, and much more. And we've also made significant investments in our mental health and wellbeing services, expanding our provision to provide a wider range of in-person and online drop-in sessions. And we also really hope that you all enjoyed and made the most of the diverse array of events that have been available on our campuses, such as career mentoring, design shows, mock trials, shark expo, and many others. And also the wonderful simulation that you now have available for all of you. And these engaging activities were designed to foster personal growth, enhance your skills, and create memorable experiences. Now in June, the university achieved a significant milestone by being ranked among the top 100 global institutions in the Times Higher Impact Rankings. And these measure our contribution to society and the planet. And we're really proud to have been ranked 20th in the category of reducing inequalities. We also have amazing research happening, and it's making a real difference to people's lives locally and across the globe. And just to mention too to you, Professor Josh Davis is researching super recognizers. These are people who have exceptional capacity for memorizing and recognizing unfamiliar faces, which in turn supports national and international police forces. Also, Professor Rosanna Pacella, the director of our Institute for Life Course Development, is part of a worldwide partnership looking at the prevalence of child abuse and neglect. And this year, results of her work reported in Australia are having a major impact on policy there. And she's now working in partnership with the UK National Statistics Office to develop a new national survey that looks at the prevalence of child abuse and neglect in the UK. All I'm sure you'll agree are really important pieces of research. Now finally this year, the University of Greenwich has been ranked eighth in the People and Planet University League. And that really is a great achievement as we've climbed up 15 places. And our students always tell me that sustainability is their number one priority. So this is a particularly special achievement for us because it recognises our green and ethical credentials. During the welcome speech, you've already heard of some of the great things that colleagues in your faculty have achieved throughout the last few years. And I want us to take a moment now to really recognise the wonderful faculty and the wider teams working at the university. Because no institution exists without its staff. These are the people who've supported you on your journey with us as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask all of our academic and professional services staff to stand up. So if you could stand up and round the room. Okay.
I like the sponsor. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Uh, you're a lovely bunch, aren't you? Normally I have to encourage everyone to clap and cheer. You're great. And I, what I, but I'm, I agree with you. I really would like to thank the Pro Vice Chancellor, the faculty's senior team, the head of school, and each and every member of staff for everything that they do to support our students. Because they do make the University of Greenwich what it is, which is a wonderful, friendly, and supportive place to be. So from me to you, thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Shall we let them sit down? Yeah, you can sit down now. Thank you. Graduates, we want you to go out to the world and be proud of the institution that you will always be part of. Our new strategy 2030 is extremely ambitious about what the future holds for us and for our students. We want to have net zero carbon emissions. We want to ensure that all of our graduates have the best future for them. We want to be the best modern university in the UK and to be in the top 30 of the Guardian League table by 2030. And we will do this, and we will do it by being inclusive, collaborative, impactful, and by putting students and staff, mental health and well-being at the core of what we do. So we promise you to continue to work really hard and continue to improve in the future so that you can always be proud of us. Now, graduates, as of today, you have joined a global alumni community that is now over 270,000 strong. And more than ever, this community is a really powerful resource to lean on because they, along with the university, are really are here to help you to progress in your graduate career and navigate the next stages of your journey. So on behalf of the University of Greenwich, I wish each and every one of you huge congratulations on your wonderful successes and I look forward to hearing about your future successes too. Well done, everyone. Congratulations. <laughs> Vice-Chancellor, Pro-Vice-Chancellor, your worshipful mayor, this completes this morning's presentation of successful award holders of the University of Greenwich. Congratulations, graduates of 2023. <laughs> Would guests please remain seated until the processions have left the chapel and await instructions from stewards. Thank you.